right, uh, we have an Ask Steve Anonymous. This came in via Facebook, and it reads, uh, Steve, help. The other day, I was pulling into my driveway in the dark, and I ran over something. I was afraid it was an animal, but when I got out to investigate, there was nothing there. On well, the next day, I bumped into my neighbor who told me his cat... <laughs> <laughs> cat was hit by a car, but doing okay. She ended up with a broken leg. He then said, I will hunt this person down and make them pay for what they've done. Now I'm scared. I can't live with this guilt, but I'm afraid to come clean. Should I confess? <laughs> well, see, but first of all, let me help you understand something. You don't know you hit the cat. You said when you got out the car, nothing was there. That's what you said. Now, the fact that his cat got hit, that could be coincidence. Cats get hit all the time. But what you can't do is go over there and talk him out. I hit your cat. Because then he gonna snap and go off. See, so now you don't go over there confessing because you don't know if it was you. When you got out the car, you didn't see anything. Obviously, the cat got away. If, if it was the cat. And hell, he a cat. He got nine lives. <laughs> Can I, can I tell you a true story? This is a true story. This really, really happened. One of the places I had was an apartment, and I had a one-car garage. And I had bought a car. And I had the windows down all night, and I thought I had let the garage down, but obviously I had left it up a little bit. I came out to go to work one morning, and a squirrel had climbed into the car and was in the back seat. I didn't know it. I get in the car. I shut the door. I start the car up. It startled the squirrel. The squirrel jumped up on the headrest next to me. When I looked over, the squirrel was right there. I swear to God, I thought it was a bear. If you'd have seen me getting out that car, I got out the car without opening the door. The windows was down. And I don't know whether it was my hand or my foot, but I kicked the rear view mirror off. When I landed, I was on my back looking up. And then I raised my head up, and I saw a little squirrel bouncing across the street. I got up scared to death. I didn't know what the hell happened. I looked in the car. I had towed my car up. I had a cut in the seat. The rear view mirror was off. The dashboard had a split in it. I said, who the hell been in this car? It was just me and that damn squirrel. Hey, folks, we'll be right back.